Hello, Internet, and welcome to, um, what is this, Mario Maker? Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, on the day you're watching this, it will be tomorrow, so I'm sorry about yesterday that we didn't do a stream, uh, but today, which is yesterday, tomorrow, I'm, whatever. Don't think too hard yeah. about it. <laughs> uh, you're we, trying too hard. Yeah, we're doing, uh, we're doing this instead, uh, and we can't stream this, we gotta record it, uh, for it to be in glorious HD, um, so, because, I made a level. <laughs> because obviously the only way to view Mario is in HD. Of course, yeah. Especially since this is the old pixelated version. Yep. Um, so, yeah. So, um, I should stop flipping this back and forth because I'm going to think it's the sink when I'm watching the video and it's going to confuse the shit out of me. <laughs> Alright, so uh, I have Jacob here with me. And yes. no one else. Welcome. Jacob beat one of my previous levels which was one of his rage levels yeah one of my rage levels which actually succeeded in making me rage yeah i i don't think i've ever seen jacob angry except for that one time <laughs> so um, like, I'm, i've I'm been angry in like some of the parts in nathan's campaign oh yeah but but not like yelling at the at people but i haven't been like exploding <laughs> yeah except that one time and it was only for like three seconds and then it was done <laughs> <laughs> but anyway i'm i'm interested to see what you think of this new level which i made all right well we're gonna find the fucking yeah i don't want to tell you anything um i have not technically completed it but as i've said i made it like an inch from the finish and then died and <laughs> flipped out so uh and i only i've only been playing this for like an hour so all right all right <laughs> Anyway, we're gonna. I mean, Jacob's I very good at this. I was the one who was able to beat Flappy Mario. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Flappy Mario is so cancer. If there's anyone who can do it, it's me. But. Yeah, uh, Jacob's very good at Mario. Right. You only need three keys. Problem is, I need to get accustomed to this controller. Yeah, sorry. Oh, I can flip you to the I other one. I'm already there. <laughs> <laughs> I can flip you to the other one if you really need it. Um, a little larger, but. I Money. I thought that was open ground. Keck. Prepare yourself, because this one's going to be a slow burn. Wait, am I just trapped? Yeah. I, you are actually just trapped. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's, uh, it's, it's not how you go in there. <laughs> oh, I'm supposed to get into that food, dude. Oh. Yeah, so I want to I wanna see how much of this you're actually able to figure out on your own. Because I think it'll give me a good judgment of, um, how much of this I might need to change. Hopefully I won't need to change anything. But I'm hoping uh, I'm hoping there's enough context clues that you'll be able to figure most of it out on your own. Alright, well, we'll see. There's only one thing I'm really worried about uh, not being obvious. And uh, I'll tell you if you are on this for a while without seeing it. Alright, well, let's see. <laughs> Jumping the gun there. Those wigglers uh, are adorable, but very fucking annoying. I uh, can't even get down. Yeah. Like, what, am I, what is one per? <laughs> what is one to do? I don't know. Maybe uh, maybe come back to that later. I'll give you a hint later if you uh, complete some other parts, and then I'll let you know how to get to that part. Oh. <laughs> um, I know your uh, platforming is, well, despite that uh, evidence to the contrary, your platforming is often quite on point, so I'm interested to see how your puzzle solving uh, yeah. works into this, because I've made this level a little bit more Fuck. unclear. Sure. To say the least. It's like, you gotta platform well, but you also gotta puzzle well. Yeah, you also gotta figure out what you're supposed to be doing. And, like I said, I, I hope there's enough context clues that you can figure it out. But, I don't know about that. We'll see. 
suicide. <laughs> just well, that's that. Into <laughs> what? Might as well just kill myself. Might as well die. Guess I'll die. Sorry for the disgusting sound this is making. Uh, I didn't even hear it. Uh, I was referring to the on the audio because look at those sound waves. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to probably edit that out. We'll see what happens. This video shouldn't be too hard to edit. To be Whoa! <laughs> what was that? <laughs> that is an unintended side effect of having uh, Bowser up there. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but uh, I didn't remove it because it actually makes it all the more interesting. <laughs> Surprise, but sex the game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's Mario Maker for you. <laughs> When I was um, playing through this, and like I said, I did get like an inch from the finish. Um, when I was playing through this, that was one of the things that frustrated me most. Was that key right there? And I, I knew that would be a problem, which is exactly why I did it. <laughs> I was not expecting to jump through the show. <laughs> Just like, yeah, Baby Bowser's a real, Baby Bowser's a real dick. I found that's an issue I have when I'm designing levels, is he always jumps out of the section I want him to be in and goes somewhere else. <laughs> but I mean, and... Well. Yeah. And I'm like, fuck this shit. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's inc it's incredibly enraging. <laughs> I... I love that game. And also, I hate it. Because it's genius. Evil genius. Yes. I've seen people play all the way to the end, and I'm like... How did the developers expect these people to come up with this? Yeah, but the funny thing is they always do. Well, you that's because they have no other <laughs> to do. Like, you only yeah. see the perfect run. It's you always the speedrunners too, yeah. Like, you don't see all of the times they fail. Mm -hmm. That's true. That's very true. Sometimes, uh, I like to watch, um, people trying to do no-hit runs of Dark Souls. On YouTube. Oh yeah. Uh, sometimes it's like in live streams and stuff, so you actually do see them fuck it up. And whenever they get hit, they just immediately restart. Wow. <laughs> I'm surprised that worked. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I'll tell you outright, that is the thing I was concerned you wouldn't find. <laughs> <laughs> it's cancer, is what it is! <laughs> you have developed a new technique for getting that boot. <laughs> that, uh... It's a little different from how I did it. Okay. But it works! I mean, just about as often as Maya Technique did. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, that's actually really interesting. I use this. I use the saws. Yeah, I didn't even know that you were using saws. Yeah, neither did I. Um, but I accidentally bounced off a saw in this uh, the section after Baby Bowser. You know that? Um, I accidentally bounced off one of those, and it actually killed me because I launched off the edge instead of taking one damage. And I flipped the hell out about it. Oh my god! What the hell? <laughs> oh my god, I can't believe you did that. Did what? <laughs> just, just bounced off of the spring into the bullet and managed to survive it. Well, that's because I had the thing. What thing's that? I had the boot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Damage boost. supposed to do here. <laughs> <laughs> Am I supposed to get this guy to oh. You, uh, you figure it out? <laughs> Accidentally. Yeah. Okay, as long as you, as long as you saw it. And I didn't have to help. 
<laughs> I really like that technique. <laughs> it's it's different. It's very good though. Gotta fall in line with all the you stop with all the bombs. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. That was me doing a Hitler march in case nobody saw that. <laughs> That's what that sound was. I guess I just killed this. Yeah, no, good job. The boot kind of murks him. Fuck me! <laughs> <laughs> Too much momentum! <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> You're making progress, though. Done like a true professional. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, son. Yeah, it's been a while since we've done uh, Super Mario, or yeah, Super Mario Maker on a on a show. Super Mario Maker. Yeah, we we used to do them with uh, Nathan and Justin, but it's been a while. We did it like went back when it was the thing, you know. Yeah, when it was. New. Yeah. Oof. Because, I mean, it's probably funner with them because they're, like, not as good. <laughs> and, and I'm much Yeah, and more Nathan gets so mad. And I'm much more calm and composed than those two. <laughs> I mean, it's alright. Uh, it's still pretty good. I mean, <laughs> like, there's its upsides and downsides, right? The upside to Nathan is he flips the hell out and it's hilarious to watch. The downside is, you watch him play the same part over and over again. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, at least uh, watching you play it, you know, there's some, a lot of progress. Sure. It's like, cool to watch. Yeah. You get to see a little bit of the level. Alright. No. <laughs> you only need three keys. All only right. three. So, that's one down. Alright, you don't need that anymore, yeah. Yeah. It would be helpful, though. But you don't need it. Well, actually, for the second thing, it's not actually helpful at all. No, actually, it hurts. You can't even get up there, because you bounce too much. That's true. I did it with the boot, like, once. And then I never tried it again. Because <laughs> it was just impossible. But now... <laughs> <laughs> God, what I the hate fuck? Bowser. <laughs> I Just, hate him so much. Like the problem with this level is getting back onto the second roundabout. It's like we just can't. Yeah. Because there's too many goddamn saws, and you can't spin jump in this uh, particular version of Mario. Yeah. To get around. I've limited you a bit. <laughs> But like half the problem is it wouldn't even be nearly as hard if it weren't for fucking Baby Bowser being where he's not supposed to be half the time. <laughs> yeah. So I'm just waiting up in my corner here. Oh, that looks fun. Let's he's go like, down there. <laughs> yeah. He's like, hey, come fight me. Why don't you fight me, huh? Come fight me. Oh, yeah, if you come fight me, I'll come fight you. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've done that a couple times. This was a mistake. I've done that a few times when I was testing this. I know it's possible, right? Mm -hmm. But I was like so fucking close to being able to actually do it all in one run. There used to be a checkpoint, but I removed the checkpoint because it didn't make it any easier. <laughs> because you still had to go back for the keys. Yeah, you still had to get all three keys. Exactly. And it just made it harder for me to test because you have to beat it from the beginning and from the checkpoint. So I just decided to screw the checkpoint. I, that would all that makes me do is have to play it twice. <laughs> yeah. Let's do this. <laughs> wow. Yeah, you gotta you got something against him. Oof. Oh, I'm close. Sticky fingers. You went up for the for the upward path that time. It's because the down path is just always <laughs> uh, from, yeah. from what I've seen. Like, I've never been able to make it a complete loop. Um, I have another idea for a level 2, but uh, I'll make that one eventually. But right now, this is, this is what I got. 
I decided to do something where you had to uh, figure out how to combat each section while the screen was moving, hmm. and you can move past it and go back still, you know? Huh. But if you miss your, like, exit, per se, then you have to start over, basically. That was, that was the gimmick I was going for with this one. You know? Right. You gotta solve a little puzzle before the screen moves past it. Mm-hmm. And then I just kind of fucked around with this boss. Um, <laughs> you like me making bosses that are just stacks of creatures. Exactly. I love making bosses that are amalgamations of hideous monsters. <laughs> I should, uh, I should go to work for From Software. <laughs> what game are you going to Uh, Dark Souls slash Bloodborne. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bosses that are amalgamations of monsters. Oof, oof. He hits you on the side, you still take damage, right? Yeah. Even with the boot? Well, I don't know about the boot. I think you do, but... Yeah. Boot would be very helpful against these saws. Alright, so I killed baby bears. No. You are correct. Yeah. So I... Hmm. What was hmm. the point of being up there? I need to know that. I don't know. What was the point? <laughs> Did I, like, not be him anymore? No, it's not a matter of time. It's actually not even a matter of beating Baby Bowser. He's more of an obstacle than anything. <laughs> to be on, to be entirely honest. Oh well. You will need to deal with him at some point. If once you get through the key that you missed. Mm -hmm. uh, unless you use an exploit that I found. But uh, I mean, we'll see. We'll see what happens. There is an exploit to completely avoiding Baby Bowser. Well, with okay. With the exception of when he moves into sections he's not supposed to be in. Sure. Because he's always going to do that. Like, there's there's no getting around. Ooh. You can still go for the, for the lower one now, though. Yeah, because if I don't have the boot, then the upper one gets me. But then Baby Bowser might just come and fuck up my game. Yeah, honestly, he does anyway. You got that key without any problem, though. Just hope he doesn't come down here to screw with your, uh... F him with your steez. Gotta do some really good platform. Ooh. I keep failing in that one spot. Yeah, that little, uh, need, double jump there. You need to be fucking pixel free. You should stay more to the edge of the platform, I think. Because I think you're trying to- you're trying to stay too close to the center of the platform, mm -hmm. and so you end up getting hit by the saw. Well, I'm getting- it's not really gonna help. Well, I feel like you've got a lot of extra room at the edge of the platform that you're not using. <laughs> that, that got me good, I like that one. Can't unsee. <laughs> yeah. That's definitely what you're doing now. <laughs> <laughs> right? The boss pushed it for you. Um... I... When I worked on the, the final boss for this, without spoiling too much anyway, mm -hmm. um... I... accidentally made it kind of good. <laughs> like, I, I was like, you know, I, I don't really have any good ideas right now. And I... What the fuck? <laughs> Where'd you go? I don't know. Oh, you went backwards through the baby Bowser pipe. Oh. Okay, I see what you did. I don't know what I did. I, I do. <laughs> um, yeah, that happened. Yeah. <laughs> accept your death. <laughs> Step one, accepting your death. I've, m I've moved through all five stages of grief. Yeah. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, so... When I, when I did the final one, I was like, I'm just gonna keep this simple, you know? 
because I feel like the rest of the level is more what I was going for. I don't really care about the boss on this one. And then I ended up, like, accidentally making it kind of good. Hmm. Alright. We'll so, see. We'll, if I, I get hope. there, we'll, take, we'll have to see. We'll see whether you love it or completely and utterly hate it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure which one I would rather. <laughs> Bomb goo stepping. That is without a doubt the proper way to move through that section. <laughs> Oof. He activated the thing for you again. Good friend, he is. <laughs> Not this time. <laughs> Making you nervous. Yeah, the Wigglies don't get mad when you step out of the boot. They're just dead. Yeah, they're, they're dead. They don't even have time to get mad. So, clearly, up here <laughs> is, like, how we get to the final boss. Yeah? They're, at least that's how it seems. Okay. <laughs> you killed yourself on that one. Can't blame anyone but yourself. Nope. <laughs> Curiosity. You a cat, Jacob? Yes. <laughs> I am secretly a mecha person. Oof. Cat folk. <laughs> what is your class, dear cat folk? Um. Bard. Okay. I'm okay. a cat folk. Um. What kind of music do you perform? Um. Folk. <laughs> okay, yeah. Yeah, I'm with you there. It's good stuff. Uh, do you know, uh, Ragnar the Red? Uh, okay. That's a good song. <laughs> I'll, ha I'll have to take a look at that one. It's, it's from Skyrim. <laughs> it's one of the things that the bards play in the... It's not a real song. <laughs> well, it, it is a good song. Well, yeah. But it's like... 20 get, seconds long. I don't get out of this fucking boot. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> the boot's giving you way more trouble than it did. <laughs> I'll get you uh, nervous now. I know way too many times I got really nervous on that section and uh, jumped out of the boot. Or I jumped over the thing. Yeah, see, that's what you gotta do. Yeah, you gave me some good tips. Got your uh, next next key location. How are you gonna handle it? Ah, fuck you! <laughs> fuck you, bitch! <laughs> Where does he come from? <laughs> hey, you did it! Yeah, I've got a key. I don't know what to use it on. <laughs> now I do. <laughs> You're making some risky jump there. I really thought you were gonna kill yourself. I did too. <laughs> Psych. <laughs> As you just ignore the final boss. <laughs> yeah, so you made it here. You got all three keys. And all right. you got uh you got Bowser to deal with. Got this shit. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> that was good though. That was, that was good for a first run. Sure. <laughs> I got to see him on screen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My fingers are getting sore. Stick your step. The fact that you fall perfectly in line just makes me laugh so hard. It's like, you did not expect this. <laughs> no, I, I really did not expect that. <laughs> you stepping bombs. <laughs> it's like that one... You thought you were playing Mario, but this is Hitler. It's like that one uh, anti-Nazi propaganda where they have the goose-stepping hammers, but it's what? the goose-stepping bombs. <laughs> I am not familiar with that one. D are you familiar with the um with the Disney one though? No. Uh, Disney did some. Or, I think World Disney, War II propaganda. I think that might have been the one that Disney. Put out. It's possible. Uh, it's not the one I was thinking of though. 
it, it's very possible that the hammers were also Disney. Yeah. I haven't or, seen it no, though. No, that might have been a thing that you hammers. Is it by uh, MC Hammer? No. <laughs> Nazi Hammer. Um. NC Hammer. <laughs> <laughs> um. But. Yeah, so, well, uh, Disney did some World War II propaganda where they had Donald Duck as a Nazi. <laughs> You've seen that one, right? I don't think I've seen oh, that Oh, okay. Well, yeah, we're, we're, I'm going to have to show you that later. It's actually right, pretty interesting. All right, all right. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's, it's a trip. About that. <laughs> <laughs> You've outlived your usefulness. <laughs> Ooh, oh, you don't. That was really you, fucking you bitch. close. You bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Watch him drop down and stun you again. There it is. I knew it. I knew it. He's coming. He's coming no. for you. <laughs> 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 That's always the best. <laughs> when he comes straight down for Like, you. there's fucking nothing you can do to counter that. You just die. <laughs> I know, I hated that when I was testing this. <laughs> it's like the bane of my existence. <laughs> Every time! <laughs> That's just... Why is that so funny? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> No words need to be said now. <laughs> Goose stepping bombs. <laughs> Good job getting every single one of them. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, yeah. Yeah, no, that's pretty good. I don't need your stinking boot. <laughs> I'll give you the boot. Yeah. Uh, why is it one big boot rather than like I have no idea. two reasonably sized boots? Because then it like maybe it would be hard. Maybe it's harder to aim it. I'm calling it now. He's coming for you. you. Yeah, he's he's coming for you. There he is. Well, I guess I just have to accept my fate. <laughs> well, you could try to dodge him, but no, there's no point. I'm just <laughs> Yeah, you you got screwed by the RNG there. Whatever whatever RNG exists in Mario Maker. Well, it all has to do with my position. Like if I'm one pixel or X pixels to the left or right, it's gonna change his movement patterns. The yeah. problem is I don't know what those patterns are, <laughs> so I don't know how to plan for it. So it might as well just. Be Some of the um, bosses I've created in the past, I figured out uh, what caused their movement patterns and stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, Cause it's just an accumulation of smaller creatures, um, and when I finally figured it out, I was able to beat him. But it took that long to, uh, to fucking beat him. <laughs> but he's not. See, he's not something you have to fight. So he's not the same, I guess. Sure. You don't have to learn his patterns because you don't have to fight him. Because he's like in an optional. Mm -hmm. Except when he comes. For you, in <laughs> which case, you're just dead. <laughs> He's optional. It's just, it's not your option, it's his. Yes. <laughs> that's He's good, the one that makes the choice. That's, that's a good way to put it. <laughs> I think, I think you're jumping the gun here. I think you're too far ahead, because when you've taken it slower on that part, he hasn't come down. Oh, uh, maybe not. No, he's not like, coming this time. If I just bull rush, maybe I avoid the shit. Maybe. It's close though, that's the thing. The problem is that we just don't know. Mm -hmm. You had a lot less trouble with this one than I expected. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> he almost came and bull rushed me. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't having none of that. <laughs> yes, no, you ain't leaving me out of the party. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I love him. <laughs> I fucking love him. <laughs> All right, here we go. Final boss in again. I think I Second just need, try, right? I think I just need to 
do the normal shit that you did in the original Mario, which is jump under. Right. I, I, problem is I'm pretty out of practice with normal Mario. I think I just need to call upon my g gaming intuition and just go for it. Because like, if I wait, then I like psych myself out. Okay. Oh, oops. <laughs> you tried to damage me. I frames ran out. <laughs> I think, okay, you know when I was talking about how I, I figured out the patterns of one of my bosses? I think it was Bowser, too. Because almost immediately when you move into the frame, he jumps. <laughs> For like two seconds, it's really glorious. <laughs> Those glorious two seconds. <laughs> yeah. Makes it worth it. <laughs> So I got the Monty Mole part, but I did <laughs> I got like the middle down. Yeah. But just that. Eh, not a big deal, I guess. I mean, it's not really that big, that tough. No, it's because not. you don't even have to fight him. Too. Yeah. See, that's a that's the thing I have a lot of trouble doing when I make levels. Um, is I, I put a lot of effort into boss things, and half the time you don't have to do it. It's really hard to make someone have to do it, you know? Kinda, yeah. I mean, you can use the key method, but if you've already got a key in your level, like I do, then that causes a problem. Yeah. Oof. He's gonna come for you. Yeah. You weren't far enough forward, I think. Yeah, there he no, is. I'm just good, man. He's coming. We'll try anyway. It's coming. If you can jump over him now. There you go. See, you got it. So long, gay Bowser. Ha. <laughs> uh, he ain't gonna be able to get to you now. Unless he pulls that bullshit <laughs> like you did last time. <laughs> or just drops out of the sky spontaneously. <laughs> Wait for it. Oh, he didn't do it. I was really expecting him to drop out of the sky spontaneously. Well, do you, like, have more than one? Maybe? No, but for some reason he does it. Huh. He just, like, spawns in. I don't know why. Huh. I, not that I have a problem with it, because it makes it so much more interesting. So it's like, what? How did that happen? <laughs> It's another one of those things of, like, it was accidentally really good <laughs> that that happened. Oof, careful there. He almost didn't have enough backward momentum. Oof, oof, oof. Oof! Oof! Oh! <laughs> Damn you! Oh! <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> like, no, 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 no! <laughs> Careful. So I thought that if you just jump under it, then the level's over, but no. <laughs> Clearly not. <laughs> a little bit more. Um, you might actually have to wait for the screen to move first. <laughs> yeah, because I think I might have uh, jumped again. Because <laughs> <laughs> I thought that that was the way you were playing. I'm like, boss dead, you win. He's like, ouch, my hand, dude. Cut it out. Uh, the good news is you have a lot of time for that one. <laughs> that section. Um, yeah, and... I'm making good time on that one. I'm, I'm getting a pretty good win percentage on that section. Yeah. The, the hardest part is uh, Baby Bowser. <laughs> yeah, you just gotta roll Whenever the he's RNG. present. You need to roll the RNG. Mm -hmm. Just any part where Baby Bowser is present is automatically the hardest part. Uh, if I just press all the way forward, do I avoid? Uh, I guess so. I don't think I've ever done that before. Oh! Oh! <laughs> you not gonna have the fucking... <laughs> But sex is way up here. <laughs> he was on the screen for a second. <laughs> I was getting what the oh! <laughs> what was that? <laughs> it's like a it's like one of those uh, horror movie jump scares. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's scarier than one of those. Because <laughs> you've put in so much effort already. <laughs> yeah. 
Totally. Alright, here we go. We got a big old pop of Bowser now. Big Bowser. Big Bowser. I honestly see no so, point in including Bowser unless you make him big. Yeah, he's not. He's not. Oof, I he didn't jump. I thought he was gonna jump totally. So I need to wait for the entire screen to load, and then jump over. Mm -hmm. Did you see what was past him? Uh, like some beans and uh, fire flowers. So you could probably have a pretty good idea of how to deal with that. Like, I think you're, what you want the player to do is to like, beat him up and fire. Well. Or, I mean, it's up to you. Usually, I try to make people beat him up with fire, because that's the most interesting thing, right? But, like I said, with this one, I was trying to keep it simple with him. And it ended up being a lot more interesting than I expected. Hmm. With, uh, well, because I didn't intend it this way, right? But because of the way the screen scrolls in comparison to his motion, yeah. um, you see his fire, right? And that's not too hard to dodge. Mm -hmm. And then right when you're getting the hang of that, in pops the cannon. So you gotta learn to deal with that. Yeah. And then and then once you get under him, you gotta deal with whatever else comes up. So it, it kind of has that uh, like proper increasing difficulty of a boss. Sure. Which is not at all what I intended, but it ended up kind of coming out okay. Well, the, the problem is, I see that like the extra difficulty from the flame wheels is like you can't deal with that if you haven't already dealt with that. Yeah, I guess. Unless you want us to actually go under him every single time. In order to get the fire flower, in which case it actually is. I mean, I, I didn't. That was one of the few parts that I wasn't really able to test, right? Because. It just ended up okay. Yeah, I finished that shortly before you got here, and I only got to test the uh, level a few times, and I, I barely got to him at all. Mm -hmm. Um, I actually got under him and passed the first flame wheel, and then died. That's why, that, that's what I was talking about when I said I got, like, an inch from the end. You got this first, uh, you got the lead-up thing, I can't speak. You get the leading up part on lock now. Yeah, because it's like muscle memory. <laughs> mm-hmm. Or the, you know, fire that he just... <laughs> it kind of came last second there. Um... I was, uh... Talking to... A co-worker at the place, uh, where I work, right? And... Uh, she's really cool. Um, pretty funny, so, you know, she's... she's but, um... What were we talking about? Okay, so they were talking about how there was a sign on the door that was backwards, right? It was facing in so that we saw it right, but the people outside were seeing it wrong. Mm -hmm. And, um, so she was pointing that out. And I said, well, I don't really think it matters because regardless of which way it's facing, either the people coming in are going to see it wrong or the people going out are going to see it wrong. Either way... You know, it's a lose-lose, I guess. And so she she points out that her tattoo, uh, when you have a tattoo on your arm, you know, it faces written downward so that people looking at it see it right, and so that from your perspective it's upside down. Yeah. Um. And so in my in my classical oh god in my classical level of stupidity that is like the normal level of stupidity, I, I phrased something really strange. And what, what I said to her was, um, well, you see, people come inside the store, but people don't come inside you. And she just looked at what me and went, well. <laughs> and I was like, all right, well, not what I meant, but. <laughs> just, are you assuming something? <laughs> I thought it was pretty funny, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> uh, she, she took it well, because she's really cool. 
but it, it was really funny. <laughs> she was just like, it wasn't like an angry well, it was like a, well. <laughs> Zen is unbreakable. I know. I'm, just, I'm getting this by rhythm. See, this is the difference between true masters of Mario mm -hmm. and like the plebeians like me. <laughs> and that's that you need to be able to remain calm at all times. Yeah, because you can't get even that Even when rhythm. the game throws like titanic quantities of bullshit. Like <laughs> Which it always does when I'm in charge. <laughs> That's why I bottle it up and save it for when the <laughs> level's over, so that I can tell you to get fucked. <laughs> you wear the mask. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a heavy, heavy burden to bear, I'm sure. Yes. And you're not allowed to get that. <laughs> Slow, slow walk. <laughs> He's trying. He's trying. <laughs> <laughs> what am I even doing with my life? <laughs> the good news with Bowser is, um, once you get in that door, he respawns, so he's nowhere near you anymore. Yeah. And he's good. like not aggro. Mm -hmm. So he's not gonna just surprise butt sex you. <laughs> <laughs> but it's wicked funny when he just comes to hunt you down. <laughs> Just, it's time, motherfucker. <laughs> I got the lube. <laughs> and you've got the anus. <laughs> yeah, he, he ain't taking no for an answer. <laughs> it's, um, uh, implied consent. He'll find you anywhere, but whatever, wherever he'll find you, for some reason, seems to be a dark alley. <laughs> Without the, uh, without the comfort of your bob -omb friends to goose-step you out of there. <laughs> to goose-step your bob -ombs. <laughs> That section there actually took me a lot of work. Um... To get yourself? No, to make. Oh, yeah. um, because I, I, have, I kept having to do and redo it to get the timing to work on the power, power, uh, whatever you call them. The P blocks. Yeah, the lifts. Yeah. I kept having to do and redo those just to get them to work. Mm -hmm. No, to beat it, I, I found pretty easy. Um, yeah. And, it, and as you did too. Um, I think me personally, the most difficulty I had was with that right there. Yeah, because you need to have to yeah. And, and meanwhile, to, and you need to avoid <laughs> this bitch. Meanwhile, this this son of a bitch just comes out of nowhere. Just yep, time to dive. <laughs> just surprise, okay. motherfucker. Just okay. It's just the okay face. Okay. But you know which rage face I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Step one, <laughs> accepting your death. <laughs> there is nothing better. <laughs> I think that's the best part of this entire level is that you get to goose stuff with bombs. <laughs> yeah. I think I think that's the best part of my life, honestly. <laughs> it's my greatest achievement. Yes. Getting <laughs> right Jacob to goose stuff with bombs in Mario Maker. <laughs> <laughs> I'm more proud of that than I would be of my own child. Because, <laughs> like, you didn't do anything special to get a child, but you had to really tightly craft it to get Jacob to goose step with bombs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> even the fact that even the spacing is perfect where you stand. <laughs> And it's all accidental. <laughs> I know! <laughs> I was just trying to cre create a clusterfuck of bombs. Still do it. There you go. Yeah, he committed he suicide. Oh, he fl- ah! 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 <laughs> 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 My heart just stopped. <laughs> Mine did too. 
I couldn't concentrate. <laughs> I am now deceased. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Those goose step and bombs are good. But, but like, baby Bowser is also my favorite part of this level. Freddy Krueger baby Bowser. <laughs> Hi, kids. <laughs> Would you like some candy? <laughs> uh. Dear Christ. You got that jump perfect. Well, not perfect. I only get it like that. That's just that's more better ratio than I did. I had a lot of difficulty with that jump. I could always beat him, right? Because he's not too hard if you just have to fall back on the, the vine method. But I, I had difficulty popping that jump off perfect. Mm -hmm. It's really satisfying when you do it, though. Oh, it's yeah. like four in a row. Just one for the money. Two for the show. I think I'm gonna have to try the... What is Mario even doing? <laughs> like, the last time I tried going all the way to the right at all times, it worked out. Right. I think that's the go-to method now. Oh, that's... nope. He, he's butt-fucking me anyway. Uh, typical. Hey, you got the chance. Uh, just don't, don't let him scare you. <laughs> he's as scared as you of you as you are of him. No, he's not. <laughs> No, he's, he's, he's not scared at all, actually. He is perfectly content in his skills. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm really happy that I saw that trap the very first time. Yeah. You never fell into that trap. Because I'm like, I know what you're about to do. Well, part of it, too, is I think you played a level where I did that before, right? I don't know, dude. Uh, my, my ghost level does that. I don't know. It's absolute cancer. I don't know if I fought your ghost level. It's absolute cancer. <laughs> you have to actually, like, be patient with it. That's the thing. Oh! You, you bitch! Oh! <laughs> I think you gotta stay a little farther away from him there. Well, if I stay too far away, then I don't actually get to go in there. Yeah, but I think if you wait a little bit longer um, for it to move by, the pressure is going to be on, right? Of like, shit, I gotta go now. But I feel like the chance will arise, and that way you won't have to worry about the spontaneous missile. Ooh, what just happened? I think he hit you with a wrench right as you jumped. I'm gonna use that tactic with the elevators more now, because yeah, I, that's a really interesting tactic. Because now you know what to do. Yeah, now I know and how to do that. It's, it's free, like, delayed reactions on whatever you want. Mm-hmm. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna use that. Have you seen, like, the sub-community? I'm doing the same shit again. <laughs> what am I doing? I have no idea. What sub-community? Uh, like, the one-room levels. Oh yeah, I've seen those. Those are pretty neat. Where it's one screen and it's just a maze. Yeah, those are really cool. Mm -hmm. I tried to make one of those a long time ago in uh, Little Big Planet, and I just couldn't get enough interesting stuff to happen in a small space. You know? Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. yeah, a little too close to the edge there. I was like hugging the wall, you know, to avoid baby. Yeah, once you're out of the underground section, I think you're fine. The, uh, not the, under you know what I mean. Yeah, the below deck. Yeah, once you're out of that, I think you don't have to worry about Baby Bowser. I mean, who knows, honestly. He, he does what he wants. You, you never know. It's, <laughs> it's Freddy Krueger, Baby Bowser. Yeah, he, he just kind of does what he wants. He comes and goes as he pleases. We told him we could stay here a little while ago. He's overstayed as well. Now we're just kind of too scared to kick him out. Kind of scared of him, to be honest. <laughs> like, who's gonna say no to Freddy? Every time I try to go in his room, he throws like four hammers at me.
actually just because I can't figure out the pattern. Yeah. So it might as well just be red. Because if I hug the wall, then sometimes it still gets away. Yeah, he's still coming for you. You can dodge him though if you get on this platform. Like, 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 there you go. Like 30% of the time, I'll still dodge. For now, who knows though. I feel like not seeing him is scarier than seeing him. Like, <laughs> because you don't know where he is. Yeah. It could pop up at any moment. <laughs> he is without a doubt the best thing. <laughs> He's the worst thing. <laughs> yeah, that's because that's because you're the one playing. <laughs> like you're the one who gets to see me suffer. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so for me, he's the best thing in the level. I think I just need to stay on this, on one of these particular platforms. Like this. Okay, he's on solid ground now. Damn it! Ooh, he's already moved. a little too slow. He almost had it too, because mm -hmm. the thing was right there. The worst part is when you like you get past him and then he starts to charge at you. Yeah. So no, that's not how the Mario Bros. is getting to Bowser doesn't really give a shit. He uh he's learned from his son. <laughs> Following the rules isn't exactly good for a villain. Yep. You just really didn't want to leave your goose step and bomb friends. Nope. Problem is, I'm just so well practiced with the rest of the game, mm -hmm. and I just die to Bowser immediately every time. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's... I don't know, it's just something about Bowser that I'm just bad. Well, it's... he's hard. I, c I couldn't beat him either. Well, that's I thought I you said him. you almost won. You well, got underneath him. Yeah, I got past him, but I got fucked by, like, one thing immediately after, just like you did the first time. Oh, that was how that happened? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, I got past the first one, right? But... I just got fucked immediately after. Just everything came to me. I gave birth to it, and so it despises me with its entire being. I think it despises me. <laughs> just hates oh, living. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, you can leave for now, bitch. I'll be coming for you later. I'll get you on the next life. <laughs> we all know you ain't beating it this time. <laughs> I think you got this. I want to say I believe in you, we'll but... See. I don't know. Do, do you believe in, uh... Do you, be, do you believe in luck, or do you believe in, like, jinx? Neither. <laughs> None of the above. Cause and effect. That's what I believe. Right oh! No, 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 hang on. Oh! Oh, oh God. Damn it. At least close. Like, I think he breathes fire twice and then he jumps. That seems to be... You might be right. I actually don't know his exact pattern. Because I think that's the only way I'm getting through this. Mm -hmm. If I'm memorizing the pattern. The problem is, I have to wait like five minutes in between each time I get the chance. <laughs> <laughs> Still beautiful. And then that one in front of you just realizes, Hey, you're not supposed to be here! It says, Hey, we've got a traitor in our midst. It <laughs> turns around. <laughs> Oh, nice. Nice combo. I'm just doing it for the lulls. You get in the lulls. I'm also learning when I can and cannot have my hand, my finger on the B button, so I I know when to relax my fingers so I don't get tired. Mm -hmm. that, uh, You're learning some metagame stuff. Dude. Metagame knowledge. Mm -hmm. I'm obtaining meta magic cards <laughs> due to leveling up. You need to die to level up. 
in this game. This game is like Dark Souls. Too many games have been have been compared to Dark Souls. Yeah, you got this. I can avoid his bullshit pretty easily now if he comes back. The yep. problem is if he Freddy Krueger's my <laughs> and he just keeps chasing. <laughs> like out of nowhere. <laughs> like that time he spawned above you. Yeah. <laughs> like, ah, ah. <laughs> I was screaming. <laughs> I was just laughing so hard. <laughs> yes. It was without a doubt the best. <laughs> Yeah, I was gonna say, I think you're a little bit beyond too. <laughs> you ever played Punch Out as a kid? No, actually. I didn't either. It wasn't really my. Uh, I, don't I need to be on the second escalator right behind him in order to be able yeah. to avoid this bullshit. Yeah. Because he's just so big. Like, you gotta move in between his fires in case he needs jumps. But at the same time, you gotta stay back because his fire is my, my, my problem is that if I'm at the second escalator... If I didn't notice that. Yeah. If I'm at... Sometimes you notice, sometimes you don't. Like, <laughs> if I'm at the second escalator, my, my problem is, like, maybe I won't have enough time to jump underneath it. Right. No, I'm actually just guessing that I'm German. You know, I, <laughs> I'm German. I just didn't. I just don't know it right now. <laughs> huh. All right, take 42. Yeah, here we go. Another Bowser go. Honestly, I must be doing something wrong because. Because I've gotten through the rest of this godforsaken level, no problem. Right. And then I just immediately die every time. Well, you always gotta learn the new section. But you learned those other sections real quick, because A, they're easier. There, I had fewer... I didn't... And B, it's all contained in one area that you have to replay over and over again. So you get a lot of experience. Oh. Oof. What if I'm, like, super goddamn close, so that his fire is go right... I don't know if that'll work, but you can try it. Like, it's better than what I've been doing so far. <laughs> I'm just waiting to die. Right. Because that's basically been my tactic so far, just trying to figure out his pattern. But I'm just always dying within 10 seconds. You notice you. <laughs> Traitor! Traitor! I haven't seen that movie yet. What movie is that? That is The Star Force Wars. Awakens. Yes, episode 7. You haven't seen episode 7? I haven't seen, like, half of the stuff. Did anyone spoil the big thing for you? Yeah, they spoiled it. Which one? Uh, spoiler alert. Which one? The um, Han Solo. Okay, yeah. Do you know Justin predicted that? Yeah, you told me. Did I accidentally spoil it for you? No, it was some assholes oh. at school who were talking, like, a week after it came out. Oh, yeah. I'm like, that guys, sucks. guys, you see... Oh, wait. So I'm like, well, I might as well just not even watch it, because I've already been spoiled for all this shit. That really sucks. Because, like, I was going to see it, mm -hmm. you know, so in order to get ahead of the spoiler mongers. Right. But I've just been spoiled anyway. <laughs> yeah, don't need Lo and behold, the spoiler mongers will not allow anyone ahead of them. Oh, gosh! <laughs> <laughs> I 
was gonna try. <laughs> he was not letting you leave that time. <laughs> no, actually, you're dead. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, Shinzo. Nani? Um. <laughs> yeah, so Justin totally fucking predicted that. And the funniest thing is, like, the rest of us weren't even paying attention to him, right? Yeah. And then he just says it, and, and like, I'm watching the old recording. And, like, holy fuck. And then I, I checked the date, because I was curious mm -hmm. if he was just fucking with me, right? And it was, it, it was before the date. Yeah. Wow. So, yeah, so, uh... Guys, don't watch our, um... <laughs> don't watch that particular... Yeah. Which one? I don't know. I, I can't tell you. Even if you wanted to. Even if I wanted to, I couldn't tell you. Because then I'd have to kill you. Because you've got, like, 666 videos. Yeah. Uh, actually, episode 666, uh, was... Kingdom Hearts. Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> uh, very appropriately. <laughs> the Devil's Game. <laughs> and you actually were fighting Maleficent. Really? And got your shit pushed. That's actually kind of funny. That's the one where we got our ass handed to us by Maleficent? Yeah, and the elevators. Oh yeah, the elevators were great. <laughs> Who said 666 is a bad number? Whoa! Oh no, he's gonna like, break my <laughs> asshole <laughs> now. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> he's determined! He's determined! <laughs> <laughs> Run, my dude! No! Run! <laughs> you don't have long! <laughs> no. Ah! After all this time, you finally did it! <laughs> you finally did it! <laughs> oh. There's always a first for everything. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Okay, uh, joking aside, the video, um, with the Han Solo spoiler is, um, it's part two of Order 1886. Oh, oh. And it's also in the best of Order 1886 because that was when I was editing and realized he said it yeah. and was like, oh, fuck. Well, isn't the best of the Order only two of your videos? Yeah, the Order 1886 was only, it was three videos. Oh, okay. Um, you only saw two, though, because we started the game almost exactly a year before we did part two. <laughs> we just left it and never came back to it. And then just be like, yeah, this yeah. is definitely a game. And then one day we just, like, were like, hey, we totally forgot about this, the existence of this thing. So we decided to go back to it. Like, oh, video game drop? Yeah, exactly. We might as well just finish this shit. <laughs> I mean, I liked the game. It had a lot of good things going for it. It was just too short. It had a good concept. Execution was kind of okay. I think the concept was the best part of the game. Oh yeah, the concept is like because glorious. the gameplay is kind of just average. It's mediocre, with the exception of like the high noon thing is pretty fucking sick. And wait, which one? The high noon? Um, there's oh, a meter yeah. that builds up. Yeah. Oh yeah, the super. Meter. Yeah, and you press it, and it and it does literally increase high noon, except way more visually impressive. Yes. <laughs> and so that's pretty cool. And then the uh, what's the, there's one other thing I really like about it. He's gonna do the oh, he's now. gonna Freddy Krueger me. <laughs> <laughs> he almost got you. There's no escape. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Bellus the bird. <laughs> Just back swan, back swan dives off. <laughs> He's like, I don't feel like killing you this time. <laughs> yeah. What the hell was I saying a second ago? <laughs> oh, I, I much entered in that because um, uh, because of our our D and D campaign because he yeah. has the swan dive off the edge of the building. Well, I made him swan dive off the edge of the building. No, that was the thing that was gonna happen. Wait, what? Yeah, that, that was. Wait, what are we talking about here? We're talking about the same thing, right? Yeah, when I cast constricting coils and made him fall. So oh no, this was before he became a bird. Oh, I didn't see that part. Then. Oh. Because yeah, because the human guy who was crazy who we were talking to was him. Wait, what human guy? Well, okay, sorry, not human, gnome. What gnome? I didn't, <laughs> I didn't notice that part of the game. Oh, okay, never mind. 
I just remember me like incinerating a bunch of birds out of the air. It and happened, and then the bird appeared. It happened at the end of the session before the fight. Before the carpies appeared. Before the boss fight. Was because it? I left off right as he did it, and then I said, "Next time we'll fight him." Uh, I thought. Uh, Darren was walking towards him, right? No. Because he was he was standing by the edge. And being and acting crazy, and then Jaren tried to like run towards him and just stop him from jumping, and then he nasty dies off the building. Uh, I was totally not paying attention at that time then, because <laughs> I'm like, oh, I guess the bird appeared. I guess we're fighting him now. Yeah, that was how I perceived it. Yeah, he just cut straight to the chase. <laughs> well, I only remember the important shit. Of course. I must have been like talking to someone. At Maybe. <laughs> There's a lot of that. <laughs> like, no, actually, they can. So, what do you think of the uh, avatar? He's great. I'm surprised accurate. that I found one so quickly. Yeah. Um, how long did it take you to find him? I Google searched <laughs> the term female knight. Oh wow, okay. And then I found some chick with red hair. I'm like, yes, that's me. And then Justin freaking knew who it was apparently. Yeah, it's Tip Tommy. From Fire Emblem? Yeah. He's a huge Fire Emblem fan. Yeah, that's how he knows. I'm like, maybe I can sneak this past you guys. <laughs> no. He knew. Yeah, I know. You ain't getting anything Fire Emblem related past Justin. Nope. Or Nathan for that matter. Uh, is Nathan me? A big guy? Huh? Is Nathan a big Fire Emblem dude? Yeah, uh, Justin more than Nathan, but they both are. Um, you can slip anything past me as long as it's not from Birthright. Oof, be careful. Well, you got a lot of hits. You got a lot of hits. Wait. Run, just run. Aww, you, you done fucked it. Nope. You realize that green line is the finish, right? Oh, really? <laughs> yeah! Oh, wow. I was so close the whole time. Yeah. Oh, that's well. why I was saying just go, what are you doing? <laughs> well, that's the problem, though. You know... things that I don't. Well, have you ever played the original Super Mario Bros? Yeah. The original Super Mario Bros. never had a big Mario. I know, it's a flag... It's a flagpole, but the rest of it's covered. Uh oh. I was paying bigger attention to the giant pink boss that was taking up half the screen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> True. <laughs> True. Valid point. I thought that you wanted me to, like, fireball the bastard to death. I mean, you can. It's more interesting if you ask me, but it also means you're gonna have to do this 20 more times. <laughs> yeah, I... If we're lucky. I'm not going to take that time. I'd rather do this only five more times. <laughs> if we're lucky. I mean, well, you did figure out the right strategy by staying close to it. That was a good idea. Yeah, I decided to change it up. I didn't even think of that. If I, because he's so big and bulky, his fire is just going to travel a really long distance before it hits the ground. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was a good idea. See, I didn't even, I didn't even think of that idea. Well, that's the sort of ideas that get into your head after you've been like shot a <laughs> hundred times. Yeah, right. I totally would have burned up all 99 lives at this point if we were keeping track. Y you done did it now. <laughs> Good luck! <laughs> Ooh. Okay, you did it. Good. Can I actually do this with just the blue? Yeah, you can actually. Don't, don't touch those though, they'll bounce you. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> <coughs> so yeah, I gotta shed the boot before I get on that platform. Yeah, a little bit. I've got this shit down to the sides. Oh yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, it's <laughs> <laughs> he tried to get you, but... Too slippery. Yeah. Anyone slippery after the party? I wonder what the audience thinks just seeing the same shit 20 times. Uh, they're probably yelling at you, I'm sure. 
They're like, no, do this. <laughs> if no, the Game Grumps this. comment section is any indication, they're yelling at you for sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but you got it. You... I'm clearly superior to the Game Grumps. <laughs> we all know this. Of course, yeah. They clearly are mystified at how I'm doing all of this. Mm -hmm. Because I'm sure they're watching too. They are one of our 50 fans. <laughs> Do you think it's gonna be the foot fetishist that's gonna be screaming at me? Or someone else? Uh, yeah, I, I would say, um, it might be Busta Nut. Who's the Busta Nut? <laughs> <laughs> were you, uh, were you not there during our, um, uh, uh, what was that? That was Beyond Two Souls that no, that guy showed up. I was not. So, um, I, I joined in this whole <laughs> friend group later on. Oh, yeah, that was after Beyond Two Souls that you even showed up. Yeah. Um, yeah, so during our Beyond Two Souls playthrough, which is one of our funnier ones, to be honest, it's one of our better shows, um, there's a, and I told this whole story on there already, but somebody, somebody with the username Busta Nut, with some numbers after that I don't remember, um, commented on one of our videos first, to which I responded second, and then he responded, and long story short, long story short, uh, we arranged for me to fuck that person. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now that never happened, but as you might imagine. Oh yeah. Oh or yeah. So no, it. there was more to that story. There was more to that story. Uh, before the official arrangement of uh, I will fuck you, he said. Um, no. He said he would give me. I think he said he'd give me a hundred dollars to fuck him, right? Okay. And I said, how about a thousand? To which he responded, okay, 10,000. <laughs> <laughs> Just you drive a hard bargain. <laughs> you drive a hard bargain, my friend, but I'll take it. <laughs> and then that spawned a whole conversation about Justin and the Illuminati. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, uh... I missed a lot of shit. <laughs> yeah, that was one of our weirder series. Alright, <laughs> uh, Beyond Two Swirls. It's a weird game, but it's, it's pretty good, actually. Um, I know it's not a flawless game. It has a lot of issues that many people have pointed out in the past. But I think it was it was one of the games I've had the most fun with on our show, and it's because it has a co-op mode. Is that the one where you have to save the bitch from dying constantly? No, that's, uh... That's Life is Strange. Oh, yes. Beyond Two Souls is the one where, uh... There's a girl linked to a ghost. I... And the ghost has like supernatural powers, but it, but it's meant to be played single player, but it has a co-op mode, and so Justin and I did it co-op on the show, and it was it was one of the most fun things we've done actually because you don't get a lot of co-op games, you know? No. It was really nice to have a co-op story couch, game. Couch where... co-op is an endangered species. Yeah, and we were really invested in the story and everything because. Like, it's one of those games like Heavy Rain where your choices actually matter. Oh, yeah. So I guess, uh, if I were to give a recommendation for the game, um, if, if you're looking for couch co-op games, it's a good game for you. Because... Shameless plug. Yeah. Are you getting paid by the developers? Not sponsored by, uh... Fuck, who's that by? Ping pong. Just know you're not getting to the final battle with the boot. <laughs> I'm the real final boss, bitch. And then the sauce just pounce you back and forth till you die. <laughs> um, what was I saying? <laughs> something about something, I'm sure. Something about heavy rain. Oh, uh, Quantic Dream is the creator. Not sponsored by Quantic Dream. <laughs> not sponsored. Hashtag not sponsored. Has, hashtag could be sponsored. Hashtag. If you want. Hashtag maybe. <laughs> Has, hashtag hopefully sponsored. Uh, at Quantic Dream US. Uh, Dot biz. Yeah. Actually, I believe Quantic Dream's uh, Twitter handle is actually Quantic Dream US. I believe. I could be wrong. Uh, because when we were running that series, I was uh, constantly hitting, uh, shouting out to them. Of course, no response. <laughs> Unsurprisingly. Like, we pretend that this channel is 50,000 subs, despite being only. Yeah, we pretend that uh, anyone cares. <laughs> you know, if we if we pretend that people care, eventually they will care. 
Right. Because if you pretend, if you act like nobody cares, <laughs> then no one will ever care. Make it till you make it. Yeah, that's how it is. But uh, I feel like at the same time we at least have that level of self-aware, self-deprecating shit of it too. <laughs> <laughs> like we know the reality of the situation. But we we, 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 yeah, we pretend. I reject your reality and substitute my own. Um, but the Assassin's Creed motto. Nothing is true, everything is true. I don't know how that relates to this. Sure <laughs> he, just, he just looks mildly upset at that. This what are you doing? <laughs> it's, hey, hey, cut it out. Get off my back. Get this monkey off my back. <laughs> Well, I mean, if you believe in evolution, <laughs> then we're all monkeys. Well, no, we're all hominids. <laughs> like, well, not literally. Well, I know what you mean. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Well, I don't know. Uh, I feel like... Well, this guy's Italian, right? Do you have any Italian? No. No? That's like one of the only things I'm not. Oh. Alright, so we can't insult Mario unless uh, Nathan does it. Are you gonna do the same thing that we do with the special F word? <laughs> the, the F word? Yes. The one that's worse than fuck? Yes. The one that I is. I actually stopped doing that now. Oh, what? It's. It, you know what I mean? That's literally been going on for two years. And it gets really annoying. Especially when it becomes such a self-aware inside joke that we just say it, like, Absolutely. subconsciously. Then I have to do it every five seconds. <laughs> and ironically, now that I've stopped censoring it, people have stopped saying it. <laughs> Alright. Oh my god, I can't believe it. Don't just, overuse it or I'll stop censoring it. <laughs> just this one video, you're gonna re-censor. Yeah, stop. yeah. It has to come back for this one. Well. <laughs> I accept my death. Do you even know what that door is for? Nope. Neither do I. <laughs> There's a lot of extraneous shit in this level. <laughs> I actually don't remember what that door is for. I know it's for something. Chief among them being that baby Bowser. <laughs> no, he's completely necessary. <laughs> no, he's not. <laughs> oh, traitor! Traitor! <laughs> we should, uh... Because not even we remember, we should go back and watch this video and make bets on whether or not the bomb bomb's gonna turn around. <laughs> <laughs> Like, you could just be, like, you, you watching this rerun after we're done. Yeah. Just, just make a make a drinking game. Yes. Whoever whoever gets it wrong has to take a shot. Yes. Given his amount of lives, uh, you, you, you might will, die. You will die. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you might actually die. On second thought, don't do that. Uh, you can't afford to lose any of our precious 50 <laughs> Most of them were, of which are legacy subscribers. Yeah. Because what, do you average, like, seven views on a video? <laughs> um, I don't know now, actually. That's a good question. I think it, it's it went up for a little while. Well, that was when you... That random thing. What random thing? The story time. You were talking... Uh... No, I mean, like... Our Dungeons and Douchebags playthrough started, or uh, series started getting like 10 or so. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, and then they realized that we were just like idiots? Assholes. Idiots. I mean, it should have been implied by the title, but. <laughs> I finally got to the Bowser fight. Not that I need to offend you. <laughs> oh, yeah, you did. Congrats. You have two tries. <laughs> Don't get too nervous. Get to the other side. I wouldn't try it. Oh, you can probably jump on him with the boot. I would go for that, to be honest. That's my. Ooh, you tank. Oh, you got the fire. Ooh! Ooh! 
Where am I going? You suck. <laughs> <laughs> Cancer. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I've been waiting for that this entire time. <laughs> you were leading me down that this entire time. Hey, I didn't say anything about the pipe, I said the green line is the finish. You chose to ignore it. <laughs> you chose to go for the pipe. I thought, like, maybe the warp pipe leaded to the green line on the other side. <laughs> but no. <laughs> no, no, no. You got what, you think I would actually make a reasonable level? <laughs> well, I thought, Whoa. Well, yeah. <laughs> I thought that you would make, like, one that didn't involve unfair platforming. <laughs> like... Is this still the, the same life, technically? Yes. Oh, yeah, wow. Okay. <laughs> Why now you don't have the boot? No, I don't have the boot. <laughs> I'm sorry. I mean, I'm not, but I am. <laughs> when this video recording is over, I'm going to do very illegal things to your butthole. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you have to if you can get there with the boot, though, you got it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you walked right into the use side. <laughs> <laughs> Just when I thought that there was no, not going to be any unfair platform in this level. Mm. Uh. Whoever bet that the bomb would not turn around that time just won ten dollars. And the right to not uh be alcohol poisoned. Assuming you're still alive and able to hear what I'm saying. Well maybe they're just pass out drunk. Yeah. And they're hearing this in their subconscious. Secretly that's our plan, because if they pass out while watching our video, uh YouTube autoplay will uh, continue <laughs> watching our videos. <laughs> Hidden tech. Yeah. Secretly, that's our master plan all along. They get, that's how <laughs> you secretly get people to watch your videos. Yeah. Because, like, they'll never watch them by themselves. <laughs> Let's be honest. If I, uh... None of us are charismatic enough to carry people's attention. <laughs> Accurate statement, though. Surprisingly <laughs> enough, uh, baby Bowser for the word. Yeah, he hasn't come out of his shell much. No pun intended. <laughs> pun totally. It actually wasn't, but I mean, eh. Well, I mean, it was kind of one of those things where I was gonna say it, and then like halfway through saying it, I was like, eh, I'll just roll with it. <laughs> it's, it's a pun. I guess, sort of. So, pun partially intended. I think taking the risk at this section pays off when I get to fight that as well. An extra thing. Yeah. That's probably a good point. Like, I was considering just abandoning the boot at that point stage of the game, but no. It makes it slightly easier, but it makes this way easier to have it. Because mm -hmm. you can just tank and then get the point. Tank and spank. Tank and shit and get Wank. Ooh! <laughs> Stick it to him! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Get fucking fucked. Congrats. It is finally over. Um, we're gonna need a death counter on this one. Uh, <laughs> what? 273? Yeah. How much you want? What? We both need to guess how many times I died. Okay. I'm guessing 130. Ooh. Oh man, I was that was almost exactly my guess. I'm gonna have to. Well, I, I'm gonna pull the I'm gonna pull the prices right bullshit and say 131. All right, if it's one... so technically I'm closer. If it's one, if it's higher. If it's 132, I'm gonna get mad. <laughs> <laughs> right. All right. So 
Wow, that was... Oh, navigate using the Wii. Pad. Yeah, I, I got this. This was the run you have to do to upload. So that's right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, right. yeah, I get... Now we get to inflict this pain on the rest of the world. Hey, yeah, so if you guys, uh... If you all want to experience this pain for yourself, uh, I'm going to put the put the code right up there on the screen for you. Um, and you can experience it for a limited time, because God knows it's not going to get enough likes to stay uploaded. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. There's your code. Uh, this will probably be uploaded tomorrow, so you'll have a week. <laughs> uh, as usual, stay interesting. Fuck the police.